Hi guys, welcome back to MK Sports Cars and we're talking about a race car to road car here and you may have seen the series, it's been a little bit of a delay on um, the next episode should we say because we've had the car ready, got it all ready for Malvern, just sort of polished it all up, got it sort of all dry fitted but there were some few things underlying wiring, drive-by-wire throttle bodies and all of the other bits to fit onto this vehicle. So I'm going to talk you through where we're at this stage at this moment in time with it all running and driving etc and then we'll go through all the changes and the bits that need to be done ready for IVA which is super close so now we've fitted all the bodywork so we've got the cup nose going on here this is painted and it's Rosso Racing Red as we call it um, you can paint the cars it's not a problem you can paint them and we do have a paint availability out there but most of the time it's a gel coat finish it's very durable and works extremely well but something a little bit different this one all the front end is buttoned up with our billet uprights and doing all the IVA bits so trimming in the areas that have the sharp for the impacts so all the nuts and bolts areas to make sure that they comply with the 2.5 mil radius headlights are all in these are IVA compatible have to be the 400 mil but our brackets these bolt off so if you go racing or track day under this bolt here one little plug headlight comes off indicators already built in all in one unit so you can actually remove those for your track day or like this car which is a race car as well a road legal race car you can take them off for the event so stop some damages and of course the aero efficiency <laughs> so yeah that's all good now the main transformation was here under the engine bay so rich and his team at rlm racing for the championship they offer we do or oh, an optional upgrade to drive by wire generation free Hayabusa, Hayabusa throttle bodies which is these so this is the adapters that they manufacture for them very nice bit of kit into the gen generation free Hayabusa throttle bodies that then has the motor that links down to here and this is the motor just step down there so if I press the gas pedal now that moves that motor and it's electronically cabled up to the motors on this that drive the throttle body. That allows you to do so many different things. One of the things it allows us to do is flat shifter up and down. So Rich's team then reprogram our Life FAEA ECU to allow full throttle upshift and blip downshift as well. So just down here, we have this rod. In fact, I'm going to get the original rod and show you while you're looking at that. Just down there, there's a little strain gauge in there at the front that runs along and basically senses and does an ignition cut and also checks it out for when it wants to do the full bit. That's the original rod, not sitting there. You can change it back if you want to at a later date, but the strain gauge, you can't see it, but it's just in there, a little black thing just there um, with the wire coming off of it. Um, that works for that area and it gives you that. You could actually, in theory, because it's drive away, fit cruise control and stuff like that as well, but basically it's a race car so you want that full upshift and downshift capability that's what we can do as an option on the uh, on the cup cars and any of the high booster engines adaption so there's a few other changes you have to do he's got different injectors because normally these are different and the fuel rail that they manufacture here which is a really nice bit of kit and then we've got the fuel pressure switch that goes in here so if we do drop in fuel pressure it will kill the ECU and make sure uh, it doesn't do any damage to the engine which it looks after because this ECU is very clever it looks after the engine so oil pressures water temperatures all the alarm systems on it any any problems it is your little guardian angel on your shoulder to to look after your engine in the event of a failure in some way in the engine so it does look after you really really well it's a great bit of kit can't fault it really and here wiring this is uh, the ECU and loom just got a little bit of tidying up to do to finish that off here and then all the, everything else is done. We've put the IVA exhaust on here. We've done the emissions. The emissions is all good on this particular one now. It has to meet the criteria um, for that. And then we're gonna jump on the rear of the car, all the, the fog light up in the center here and the LED light pack underneath, all done and detailed. 
and then we will probably change the mirrors out to some little race ones at some point and it needs a centre mirror for the IVA if you think you want it as well once we put the scuttle on. So it's got one little job to do which is a mobiliser. Just got to plug the immobiliser in because you need two forms of immobilisation, immobilisation even, which is a key, which is one, if you had a steering column locked, it's automatic, that's fine, but if not, you need an automatic immobiliser. Now, let's jump in the car and show you what we've got going on in here. Yeah. On this particular car, we've got the um, six channels wireless buttons here. So we've got the indicators, the main beam, the fog and the horn on here, and you can use this for, you can program them to do what you want. There's a little control box under there. You can program them up, but we're gonna switch on the dash and fire that one up. There goes the logos. But you can do what you want with these. They are fully programmable, actually. So imagine a ECU that's blank. You can then program it and tune it. This is exactly the same but in a dash that you can then go into, choose what you want, what display you want, what criteria you want. They're a very, very clever bit of kit, actually. Um, if you want to know maybe a tutorial on how these work and what options are available, because look, we can change the screens. You can configure these types of screens that's going on as well. So we can change the views to a different gauges and instruments track day stuff whatever you want in that scenario but the most important thing for IVA you must have a default screen that always has the miles per hour on it here um, that's most important it must default back to a miles per hour so if you want a tutorial with that and maybe a little how-to guide it won't be fully done maybe every setting that needs to be done but maybe Lewis can do us a little video on that as well so look we'll show you when we put the indicators on it comes up on the dash and this is all wireless on here as well and we can put our lights on here so we've got side and dip that will come up main beam switches over all comes up on the dashboard um, fog light will come up um, on the IVA, on the IVA. yeah we do that on the IVA screen which is that one there we get the fog light that comes up now in short it, there's a few different choices you can custom these, these logos in colors as well so that has to be amber when you do the fog um, they can choose the color font but it must be on that so we've got the speedo up here as well so that's all nicely detailed and then you've got your normal warning lights up here your fuel level oil pressures and water temperatures this will go red and then green once you're up to temperature as well um, as it will all flick up on here and uh, we put this little one in here because when you turn the power off I'll show you hazard off when you turn the power off you have to have a warning light showing that your hazard's on with all the ignitions turned off for IVA. Does she run, I want to hear you say? Well, let's find out, actually. Let's power up. Ignition. And make sure you're in neutral. Let's turn the lights off. Make sure you're in neutral. Big N. And there she goes. And actually, on these, you can do cow switches, which Richard's done on his one. You can put in wiring additionally calibration switches and run switches which you can program it on here actually to have it as a fast idle when you're warming up which has actually got it on his car so you can actually pick it up so it warms up quicker and then when it gets to a certain temperature it will then come back down so it may run it at two two and a bit thousand rpm to warm it up a bit quicker we always warm up all the race cars before we go out on track anyway so make sure the oil is above 40 plus degrees as separate so there we go nice and uh, Brilliant. It starts, runs, runs really nice actually. So we'll move, jump out the car now. So yeah, this little setup does really make a difference because it's so easy to work with afterwards. It's, it's much more linear. It can also put a rev limiter in there. It will shut the body, it will stop you buzzing the engine as we call it, which is downshifting and buzzing the engine, over revving the engine. It helps, it shuts the butterflies down. That really does help. Um, it helps definitely as well with pulling away bike engine cars that are quite challenging sometimes the switch is it, the clutch is like a little bit of a switch and it definitely has helped improved with a throttle response and a bit more linear with the drive by wires for driving it like a normal road car and of course you can just at any speed change gear without the clutch 
up and down, no clutch required on the road. So you can just go along and pull the gear lever at any RPM and it works faultlessly. So yeah, she's just got the final bits to do now, scuttle, immobiliser, a few other little bits of trim, a centre mirror and a few other bits. We've already applied for the IVA date for this. So this will be on the road, stroke track, very very soon and if you want to know more about the cup 200 range uh, the booster cars the championship race series all that goes with it or building a car yourself if you want to you can sell this to you in kit form or you want us to build a car you know what it needs to do hooks up phone call email see us here at the factory and we can sort you out that's it for this episode guys i hope you like race car to road car and i'd love you to come and see us when we go uh this might be at one of nine of the events coming up if not at the open day but i'm sure you will see hashtag lee out on the track very soon on this particular one that's it guys like share subscribe as always catch you next time